birthday to you. That pitch that we end on, in this case, C, is our tonic or our home base. We just sang that in the key of C. How can you tell what key a song is in if you don't have the sheet music or chord chart? It's actually very simple. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. It'll really help us out. First, a quick refresher on what a key is. A key is just a specific set of pitches on which the melody and the chords are built. If I'm in the key of G major, for example, I know the pitches that belong in that key are G, A, B, C, D, E, and F sharp. Chords built using those pitches, like G, B, D, a G major chord, and A, C, E, an A minor chord, also belong in that key. Most importantly, I know that the pitch G serves as home base for that particular song. The musical term for that is the tonic. That brings us to how to tell what key a song is in. We determine the key by listening for the pitch that feels like home base or the tonic. Listen to the Star Spangled Banner and see if you can identify the tonic by ear. You don't need to know what pitch it is, just be able to sing it. So if we hear, Which of those pitches felt like home base? I'll play it again. Did you pick out this pitch? Or this pitch? If so, you're right. The tonic or home base pitch is A. We're in the key of A. If you can sing that pitch, you can identify the pitch letter name by singing into a chromatic tuner or finding it on a piano app. I don't have perfect pitch, so I identify the key of a song in this way. I listen for the tonic or home bass, I sing that pitch, and then I find it on the keyboard. Thankfully, many songs actually end on the tonic because it gives the song a sense of closure and finality. Here are a few examples. If you listen to Happy Birthday and you hear, Happy birthday, dear someone. Happy birthday to you. That pitch that we end on, in this case, C, is our tonic or our home base. We just sang that in the key of C. Another example would be Amazing Grace. If you hear, was blind, but now I see. And you sing that pitch, do you find it on the keyboard? In this case, that's an F. We were in the key of F major. Sometimes songs don't end on the tonic. Ask yourself, what pitch would this song need to end on for the melody to feel totally resolved and complete? You can check your work by Googling what key the song is in, looking up a chord chart on Ultimate Guitar, or going to karaokeversion.com. Remember that any official chord chart or sheet music will usually follow the original or the most popular version of the song. So if you're analyzing the key of a cover, it might be in a different key than the original. What would you like to see more of? Let us know in the comments. Visit 30daysinger.com for easy step-by-step -step singing lessons.